Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be explaining to you what the difference between a polyester string and a copoly polymer, copolyester uh, string, the differences are between the two of those. Okay? Hold tight. So, my first experience with any type of a polyester string came in 1994. I was stringing at a tournament in San Jose, a pro tournament, where Andre Agassi was there, Michael Chang was there, um, Michael Steek was there, a lot of the pros were there. And a lot of the guys started bringing me the string. It had nothing on it. it. It was just a reel, right? I'm the one that put poly 18 on it because um, that's what I called it uh, years later. But it was a stiff, stiff string. I mean, prior to that, I mean, it was pretty much a lot of natural gut, a lot of synthetic natural gut blends. Um, but I mean, that was when I was, you know, really young and I was like, what the hell is this string? It's so hard to uh, string. It all it wants to do is, you know, go straight. Because as soon as I drop this string down, it just ring. It wanted to go straight. It wanted to straighten up, right? And it was you know, a son of a string to to string, right? I was like, literally, who the hell plays with this crap? And uh, what the hell's going on here? Right, because I mean, synthetics were easy, obviously, gut was a little harder, but this took stringing to a different level, it was straight up pain in the ass. Um, so but I proceeded to finish up the tournament, and some one of the players left this reel. So here it is today, like 25 more than 25 years later, I still have it. I tried this string, and it's literally garbage now i mean it's not very good it, it was like the first iteration that somebody attempted in a poly string and it holds tension for literally an hour uh, and then goes super soft super dead uh, super loose so what was this string though um, i still don't know but i know it's a polyester and i know it is a mono filament polyester so guys mono one filament right single strand polyester string um so there's nothing special about this so it's it's an ascent it's a glorified weed whacker glorified um fishing string you know something different that provides durability to the player back in the day um, as well as some crazy spin right because they don't notch fast uh, but it'll last long, right? So the benefits of this string obviously outweighed uh, what was synthetic and, you know, obviously won't cost as much as gut. So that's why we have a revolution now in polyester strings. Now, as it progressed, you know, as tournaments came along, as people started uh, using other things, you know, Luxalon got into the market. Right, so uh, I know in one of the other videos I mentioned this, but if you didn't see that video, Luxalon is the number one string maker of sutures. If you've ever had a cut or a big long, a big long, maybe deep cut, uh, you know Luxalon. Your doctor knows Luxalon because that's what they make. They make sutures, they make stitches. Number one company in the world four stitches so they got into the tennis string business right they're already making strings might as well make it for tennis right so they were one of the first guys out that branded themselves ask your doctor if they know what luxalon is maybe they don't but the person who orders our stuff probably does um, so they started making a again monofilament polyester single filament polyester straight out of polyester now what exactly is polyester it's not the stuff that you wear 
in clothing, is it? Well, the process is actually very, very similar. It's a bunch of, it looks like plastic beads that look like jelly beans that they drop into a big machine. And it basically gets melted down and extruded. Um, like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen uh, saltwater taffy made, but it's really big. They put it in the extruder and it basically gets thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner until it's cuttable, right? Into a little bite-sized piece um, saltwater taffy, right? So this just gets thinner, thinner, and thinner after being melted down and thinned out. Um, with this polyester and this polyester, it's basically just thinned out to the gauge that they want, which is 120 millimeters, 125 millimeters, um, 1.30 millimeters. So, you know, as much as a tennis string can be, right? 16, 17, 18 gauge. Um, and there's not a whole lot you can do with that except make, you know, shape it, possibly texture it to make it, you know, snap more, right? As I was telling you guys, when you texture something or when you edge something, it's not about how it the edge is going to actually spin the ball. It's about instead of being round around like this, you know, on top of each other, right? You're basically doing this. So it's not touching each other so much, the string, so that it snaps back more, right? So that's what spin is about on a polyester. Now, as we move into, I want to say the last five, 10 years, you've heard the word copolymer, copolyester, copoly, you know, whatever that means to you guys. So here's what it is. And it's not what some of you think it is. When you say, when you say something like that in a synthetic, right, you think that on a synthetic form, you basically have a nice big center, right? And then little strands wrapping around it, right? You would do that to a synthetic gut, right? That's why this is called a multi, right? As of today, I don't believe there's a multi-poly. I could be wrong though, but um, like you see gamma TNT touch here, Right, you see a nice middle-sized core with little strands wrapping around with a nice wrap around at the outside holding it all together. Right, you, I don't think you can do that with a poly. It would take a lot of work to get it done, um, but definitely possible. Might definitely cost a little more though. But how would you do, you know, how would you make a poly softer by adding chemicals to it, uh, adding other ingredients to the polyester. Um, one of the key things that they do to make a polyester string softer is actually add air. A-I-R, air. Uh, if you think of like whipped cream, right? Whipped cream comes in a liquid form. As you mix it or whisk it hard and hard and hard, you get more volume, right? And with that volume, it becomes airier, right? They do the same thing to these strings that are cold poly, cold polymer, um, polyester strings. So they, they basically blow it up, but with air and add chemicals to it to basically soften the racket. So that's why it's called co-poly. So they add additives to the polyester strings and probably blow it with air, um, a la whip it, like the whipped cream, to soften up the strings um, and to make it play more livelier. Now, what does that really do um, to your game? Okay, so when it's in a pure polyester form 
I want to say that it holds tension a little longer uh, because it's stiff, right? When something is stiff, it's going to hold tension a little longer. When you adulterate that uh, polyester string by adding things and adding air to it, you basically, um, you know, this is dense and you take out the density of the string, therefore making it more playable, making it softer, making it more arm friendly, um, giving it uh, a more lively feel uh, is what you're basically doing in a string to make it play better. So, so the difference in poly and cold poly is playability. I mean, polyesters are going to definitely be stiffer. Uh, cold polys are definitely going to be softer, but this will definitely hold tension a little longer than this one. I mean, as you guys know, I play with Selenco Confidential, right? And that is a cold poly. So it is a shaped cold poly. So when it comes out of that extruder, it's uh, six sided. Um, RPM is eight sided. So um, it just like, you know, like you guys making cookies out of the extruder, you know, you kind of press the thing and it comes out like a star, comes out like a, you know, a square, right? Like this comes out like a square, right? This comes out six sided. This comes out eight sided. Okay. So that's the thing about polyester. You know, it's melted down. It's easy to form. It's easy to shape. Um, you know, that's the one good thing about polyester. You could pretty much do anything with it. Uh, so that's why technology today is, you know, making the strings softer and shaped. But now they're going to have to figure out how to do all that and make it hold tension longer because right now you can't have playable and long lasting. That's just something that they're going to constantly be working on. All right. So hopefully I explained to you what the difference between poly and co-poly is. Uh, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.